Hello folks, welcome to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks and it is a Friday around one o'clock in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time. I just want to let you guys and gals know that I uh, I tried uploading videos yesterday, but there was, YouTube was either having a problem or something. Something was going on. So I couldn't upload. I tried for hours to do it. All my videos were getting hung up in like 10 to 20 minute uh you know, saying, actually make waiting one to two hour waits to upload. It was weird. Tried everything I could. And I said, all right, screw it. I'll just wait till today. So some of the videos you're going to see are from yesterday and a few days back and whatever. YouTube's been giving me a problem. Uh, have any of you had any of those problems? If you have other channels as well that you post to, um, and that's another thing. I haven't really had a chance to go and check some of you guys and gals channels uh, that are sub to me, um, you know, because I just haven't had the time. But I do read your comments, folks. I do try to get back to everyone. And when you see, if it says, you know, this person liked your comment or whatever, you know that I, I watched it. Now, I wanted to uh, just give you a little update on a couple of things. Well, first of all, it's a Friday. And, it, you know, it's supposed to be really busy today, right? I mean, Friday is the day you, you're really supposed to count on making some really good money. I stopped doing morning shifts. I'm not going out in the mornings anymore because it's not worth doing them. It's just not. For I, I've tested it for like two to three weeks now. And, and maybe in the winter, winter time it would be good, but not in the, not in the summer. And, they, and the problem is, is too many drivers. The market is completely saturated with too many drivers. So it, even if there's 20 orders that come in from surrounding, you know, restaurants and you have 150 drivers figure that one out right so i mean i don't know the exact amount of drivers and by the way if anyone knows how you can find out how many drivers are in your area like is there an app or is there a you know way that we could find out how many drivers are actually in a town or a city or an area that you live in like an appro even an approximate one, but it'd be cool if we could find out exact numbers, especially for DoorDash and Uber Eats. I know that Lyft used to show cars in an area when you would go near it, you could see car, you know, certain amount like 30 or 40, but that doesn't mean it's showing you all of them. The other thing I wanted to mention is, okay, so I went to BJ's Wholesale Club. I've been declining a whole bunch of orders today. The orders have been really crappy, and it's like I'm not going to compromise. The, the algorithm tries to push you harder and harder to take these really long-distance orders, okay? But one of them came in for $19.50, $19 .50, right? And it said 10.5 miles, and I thought, well, all right, well, it's 2 to 1, you know, but it's putting me, it's going to put me in an area where I'm out of my zone, where I'm out of my zone, but I actually can, um, you know, pick up from if, if, you know, it was busy enough or they don't have enough drivers, they will give you, when you're out of your zone, they will give you orders that, um, that are out of your zone as long as, there, you know, the algorithm finds that there's no cars in that area. Anyways, so what I did, so I've shown you guys and gals some of the BJ's orders or talked about what happens at BJ's and uh, Costco's and uh you know sam's club and whatever right because they're all the same and um what i did and by the way this is great because these are the non-shopping orders these are the just you don't shop and pay and 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 deliver you just go in and pick up so i went in and i suspected it to be a heavy order and guess what it was it was all coca-colas cases of water everything right and this guy was putting the uh the order together, but he was a little bit further down than the girl that was in front of me. And I said, hi. And she goes, oh, hi. Did you check in? I'm like, she didn't even ask me who my name was or anything. I, and I was just like, yeah, I checked in. I says, I'm checking in with you and trying to let you know the name that I have here. And she's like, oh, well, he may be working on it for you. And uh, so I looked down and I couldn't really see. And then I started walking and he pulls out this big cot with all heavy stuff, folks, all cases of Coke. I mean, it was really heavy, like, and I was like, uh-uh, I'm not taking that. So I just said to them, hey, listen, I don't know if my car will handle that. Let me go out into the parking lot and check, and I'll be back to you. And I, as soon as I walked out the door, I just unassigned the order. It's not worth it. I also was able to look at the, um, the sheet that shows the tips, and there was only an extra dollar tip in there. So it was like 1950 and it showed 2050. So it's not worth it. It's not worth it because 
you don't know where you're going to have to bring those water, those cases of water, folks. You don't know if you're going to have to go up flights of stairs, what's going to happen. One of the orders I did last week, I got lucky because I brought it up to a loading dock and there was two or three guys there that do shipping and receiving at this certain place. This is a different place, but they helped me with everything. So I didn't have to break my back. No one should be subjected to that. And then I've talked about how how they should have heavy pay, like Instacart sort of has it. I, I haven't really used Instacart much at all in this year because of how bad they've been. But I, I had heard things about heavy pay. All of them should have heavy pay included. But even though there's heavy pay doesn't mean that every person can take these orders. Now, I, I'm pretty strong. I can lift everything. But why work that hard for such little money? If it was like $30, $40, $50, $50, yeah. Okay, do it, but it's not worth it. These And these people, and what's happening, folks, is these companies are taking advantage of the DoorDash drivers, and they're not ordering from their, um, from their distributors. You know, like, they ha each company has restaurant distributors who bring, like, a, a big truck and a surplus of food, and they always deliver it. So now what they're doing is circumventing that and, and sending drivers to door to uh, from DoorDash and Grubhub and whatever to BJ's and all of these big companies to pick up their orders for their restaurants, but they're not caring about what we have to do as as drivers. I think a lot of these people think that we we get paid by the company. I really do, and some of them are just ignorant. So beware about taking these big orders and make sure you check to see what the order is that you're going to be taking is before you commit to it. So what I did was just unassign it. I un unassigned it. It's not worth it. I could get two $10 orders in a half hour and make the same money I was going to make for not half, for less work. It makes no sense, you know? So anyways, I just wanted to post this quick video for Friday here. Um, I don't know if I'll have any videos up later because I'll be working. Um, forgive me, folks. I'm kind of infrequent with the videos, but trying the best I can. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're making a ton of money. Uh, but it, the, the market is just so saturated, folks. It's terrible. It's time to really look for other jobs now, U2, uh, W-2 jobs, whatever. But I got to get ones that are going to suit me and suit my, my uh, liking, you know. With that said, folks, thanks for listening to today's video. I hope you got something from it. I hope this helps you. And I hope uh, you have a wonderful uh, night and weekend, and I'll see you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.